Multimedia Elements Graphics Resolution Now resolution relates to the amount of pixels which make up a bitmap graphic. Each pixel is a specifically sized dot which contains its own data in relation to color, which is represented through a sequence of numbers that identify the amount of red, green and blue, or referred to as RGB, contained within the specific pixel's color. The amount of possible colors a pixel can be is bound to its bit depth of our overall graphic file. We calculate the resolution of an image by identifying the amount of vertical and horizontal pixels which make up the image. So let's have a look at an image right now. And as you can see, this is a pretty low res image. It doesn't have lots and lots of pixels. You can see a bit of jitteriness in its lines. So its actual resolution is 632 horizontal pixels by 468 vertical pixels. Now, if we times them by each other, each row, Okay, that gives us a total amount of pixels of 295,776 pixels. All right, so still a lot of pixels happening here, even though it's a pretty low resolution image. The other thing we want to understand is what are the colors in this actual image? Okay, and so these are all the actual dots that are used to make up each pixel. Okay, so we've got two shades of blue to represent the water of the, uh, in the sea. We've got two gray types of pixels in order to create the mast and the sails. We've got red pixels used to make the actual boat itself. We've got another blue type of pixel to make the sky. We've got both white and black pixels used for doing outlines as well as the lines on the boats. So different colored pixels all used, thousands of them, okay, all put together in order to create this image. But at their most basic sense, they're all just these little dots being used to make up this overall image. What we need to understand is the smaller the pixels, the higher the graphics resolution will be and the sharper the illustrations of the image will appear. Though in saying this, the greater the amount of pixels incorporated into the image, the greater the increase on the graphics file size in return. So for this reason, images are often compressed using file types such as JPG, GIF and PNG. So this is actually resolution in relation to the image itself, but there's another side to resolution in relation to the hardware used to display the image. So this is the other factor, the monitors used to display the image, we've got to factor in their resolutions as well. These days standard displays of televisions are about 1920 pixels by 1080p. Okay, and you might have heard that term before 1080p. That is classified full HD, which many TVs are right now. But 4K is slightly becoming the new standard. It may even be the new standard at this point, which has a resolution of 4,096 pixels by 2,160 pixels, which is considered around four times the resolution of current HD, approximately. This means that a 4K TV could be made four times larger than a current HD TV, but produce the same amount of image quality without any pixelation. So let's try to illustrate this as well. So here is my high definition TV and here is my 4K TV. Both TVs are 65 inch, so they're the exact same physical size. But the amount of pixels in the screen that they're able to provide is different. As said, for HD, we've got 1920 by 1080 pixels. For 4K, we've got 4096 by 2160 pixels. So essentially, the amount of pixels in this 4K screen is equivalent to four HD TVs, twice as many on the horizontal and twice as many on the vertical, meaning we can produce much sharper images. Okay, and that also means we can make much larger 4K TVs without any loss to quality. We've also got to understand here in relation to the images when they're presented on the screen. If I put an image that is lower in resolution onto a higher resolution screen, so if I put a HD image onto a 4K TV, you're going to see the pixelation because the uh, image is lower res and so that it's going to get stretched. It's not going to look as good if that TV is larger in capacity. On the flip side, if you put a 4K image into a HD TV, there is no benefit. You're creating a file of a larger file size, but it's not going to be able to be displayed appropriately at 4K. It's still going to be displayed as HD. Okay, so it's a waste of the file space used to create that image. So these are factors you need to consider when thinking about the resolutions of the image to create, because ultimately we need to create them in to cater for the hardware that we're going to be using it upon. And although this example is just talking about TVs, we're viewing things on computer monitors, on tablets, on mobile devices, okay? And so we need to think of the actual appropriate size of the image that we're going to create to suit multiple devices.